I'd love to see more live coding in classes. I'd love to see more coding for other kinds of purposes um, and coding integrated into other classes. Um, so uh, live coding. So I got inv invited to a dog stool uh, seminar um, last year, two years ago. It was uh, so dog stool is this really interesting place in Germany, um, Schloss dog stool, where they invite CS people to talk about some seminar topic, and you stay there for several days, and there's nothing around it, so everybody is, stays there and talks about it. And I got invited to one about live coding. From the computer science education perspective, when we think live coding, we think about somebody programming in the front of the classroom, um, which is a really good practice. Uh, Alicia Barker and Eric Roberts have called it a, a best practice for teaching computing. Um, for lots of reasons, people get to see your, the students get to see your process, the students get to see you make mistakes and then get to see you recover from them and they come to the realization, oh, even the teacher gets mistake, makes mistakes. Everybody gets mistakes. It's okay to get mistakes in, in computer science. Um, so I got invited because I've talked about live coding as being a really useful thing. But it turns out that's not what they think about it. I got invited to a group of musicians. There are these musicians who will program live in front of a, an audience and um, they write programs that generate music and they do this collaboratively so one person starts writing code that makes music and then the other one joins in um, and they're riffing off of one another and they build their own programming environments, they build their own programming systems it's, it's, it's beautiful, it's, um, it's really interesting and it really changes your notion about what programming is about Right Here it's not about developing a piece of software that's going to be canned for thousands of people to use. It's about building something now in the moment, responding to things around me for the enjoyment of the people in the audience. What a dramatically interesting way of using coding. And things like that, I think, you know, coding to me is a literacy. Programming is a literacy. And you use it to express yourself and to communicate with other human beings. And I don't think we do enough of that. Live coding is totally that. It's about writing code in order to generate music for the people around you, and they're seeing your code. Um, I'm really interesting, interested as a CS Ed researcher to try to, to, to do some studies of the people in the audience. You figure that most people in their everyday lives never see a programmer, never see programming, don't know what code looks like. What do people who go to these live coding concerts, even dance halls. There's amazing videos at toplap.org where you can see live coders in front of a dance hall coding and people dancing to the music that's coming out of their programs live. Um, what do the people in the audience think about coding after seeing that? They see the code, they dance to the music. How, do they, what, how does their perception of what is computing change? That's a direction I'd love to see computing education go more in. Things like what Uri Walensky and Irene Lee are doing with taking computing and embedding it in science classes, embedding it in math classes, the bootstrap project, using computing as a way of coming to understand Algebra 1. Um, I, I love those ways of thinking about coding beyond just to hack software. It's about expression. It's about understanding things in new ways. So to me, that's a really exciting